Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Serena. Um, mixed with a few others, but mainly Serena. So it's been a while. Um, so I thought that while I was building the Inner World 2.0, um, that I would have a chat to you about things and answer some questions. Oh, so, um, firstly, the old Minecraft videos were using totally different biome, um, and basically I lost them. Um, <coughs> I got a new computer and the disk that my inner world was saved on stopped working. So, uh, yeah, we're having to create a whole new one. But that kind of works out well for us because uh, the inner world has changed drastically since then. Um, because firstly, I became host and then. Um, we figured out we're polyfragmented, which then meant that we just, um, it's a lot more complicated than we thought it was. So at the minute, I'm redoing the, what used to be a castle. It's not a castle anymore, it's just a house. Uh, where Crystal, Sapphire and a lot of Littles live. Um, so this is on the main land of the inner world. But then we have portals and planets like around it. Um, and... It kind of goes from forest land to like a um to a city and a Victorian town and a Tudor village, so there's a lot of time um changes like period changes um within our inner world. Probably because we've always been a bit of a history geek. Uh, love history. So it kind of makes sense. So I am a peaceful, but we do have like the more malicious mods and stuff, but they don't do anything. Um, I started this from a biome that had uh, things built on it already mainly because uh, the other one we did was super flat and it was just like we were trying to build a beach and everything and I didn't want to go through that again so I got one that has beaches in it already and like forests in it already. So this is part of a, or this is like a retreat or daycare place for a lot of littles who are very traumatized, who we recently found out about. Um, we've been using a map, uh, my map, called Mindly, uh, so that's M-I-N-D-L-Y, and we found that really useful, and in doing so we have found a lot of other altars, because we figured out we're polyfragmented. Uh, which makes a lot of sense really. Um, okay. Let's continue the garden for a bit because my mind has gone. Um, I'm getting over a chest infection right now. Uh, so that's why my voice is a little bit 
off but I thought while I was while I was doing this I may as well record uh, let's put some lilacs in so yeah um, so we basically created a safe place where these littles can go to and they still have some freedom because they didn't have a lot of freedom before so we're making sure that they have freedom but they're also safe so that is why we set up this kind of retreat for them um <clears throat> now we had a question recently uh where someone asked how they find their inner world and we did comment back uh, with like the best answer we could. Um, but we wanted to just go into that a little bit more. Um, because there's only so much you can put in a comment. Uh, so, firstly, it's good to be aware that not everybody will have an inner world. Um, some systems just don't and that's okay uh, it doesn't make you any less valid it's just that we happen to have one um, we didn't always know about it and so the way we found ours or found out about ours was by doing like a drawing prompt thing um, where we had Uh, it was like a drawing challenge that we did like all about how to find out about your system um, and that was really helpful to us because we got to communicate with each other and it was in a totally non-judgmental way which is what we needed because uh, yeah but that's how Kat found out about the inner world um, I always lived there so yeah um, but it was one of those things where like because they hadn't reached out to us properly we didn't know that they actually cared enough to know if that makes sense um, so that's how we did it really we once we discovered that cat actually cared enough to ask us questions then we opened up a bit more to them and let them know more things about the inner world and this doesn't have to be like a drawing thing you could just journal each day and ask questions that you want to know the answers to um, or if you're a writer and you just want to have like a daily prompt and then write about that and then see what comes up for you that's another way of doing it um, Because, like, when Kat first found out about the fact that we're a system, they only thought that they thought there was only seven of us. Well, no, there's thousands of us. So, and we haven't discovered them as all the more yet, but, um, yeah. There's definitely a lot more than what they originally thought, but it's all about kind of learning about things like that at the right time, I guess. Because um, sometimes you're not ready 
to know certain things. Uh, we were lucky enough to have a therapist who knew about the disorder and had trained in that. Um, so we did a lot of work with her and I highly recommend if you have the access and resources um, to do work with a therapist um, because it can be really intense and do, just doing it on your own might be too much uh, especially if you're trying to find out about your trauma and things like that is a difficult thing to go through um, so yeah I highly recommend getting in touch with a therapist or something if you are able to and if not just be mindful and uh, be gentle with yourself over things so it's not easy finding uh, stuff out about your past that you didn't know about before and it can be a bit mind-blowing to find out that there's more of you or that like things can change so quickly you can learn so much so quickly um just because communication is more open so um make sure that you are gentle with yourself and you take breaks um but even through doing stuff like this like the original originally it was jay who was doing the inner world on uh on minecraft um because he was the only architect uh, so he was the one that was creating the inner world um, so if you do realise that there are more of you you might find out it's somebody's role to do that kind of thing in which case see if they will show you what it's like um, or see if they will create a safe space for you in the inner world um, for when you are inside and other people are outside uh, or like if there are any triggers going on uh, you know, it's important to have that space um, where you feel safe. Uh, like sometimes I don't even go to like inner world, sometimes I can't access inner world if I'm too emotionally all over the place. Hmm, I don't know that one. Shush. If I'm like too emotionally all over the place then sometimes I can't access the inner world myself and I get sent to the void which is like a black space uh, in the headspace like it's in between the fronting room headspace and the inner world um, and that comes with different forms of amnesia but 
but luckily I don't go there very often. Um, sometimes it's kind of nice to go there to like get a break from things, but a lot of the time it's not by choice. Um, yeah. Um, So you've just seen the little daycare place and the main house, which is where we started off. And then we also have like a beach house, beach hut thing, um, which is like another safe retreat for littles when they just need time alone. Um, they want to go somewhere. And the beach has always been a very safe place for us, so, uh, yeah. So this is the beach hut. It's very minimalistic. Um, but it has what we need. Um. And it's just like a quiet space that people can go to. So all of this is like protected in a massive dome, which I might build again. I was building it on the old inner world before I lost it. Um, and I'd actually just finished it and it's taken me ages. So we'll see. Um, I haven't yet figured out how I'm going to do the other planets and things um, but what we can see here in the distance is what is going to be the Tudor village um, It was already made and it kind of looks like a Tudor village so I decided that we're just going to acquire that one and make it our own. Oops. Uh, and then off the Tudor village there's like farmland and um, then it where have I ended up? And then it turns into um, the town. I'm just gonna swim; it'll be easier. Turns into like the Victorian town, and. From there it turns into the city, which is like modern day city. Um, so yeah. We've always liked these kind of thatch roofs. Um, this style of house. So it just suits us for what we were looking for really. Um, So I think we'll start having some farmland around here. And then um, it'll turn into like rural Victorian town. And then that goes into modern day town and then into the city um
and then over on the other side we have forests which is where Rowan and Betsy and uh, other people who I can't remember the names of live quite a few people live there they have like little places in the in the forests um, so I might do another video like this where I am making Betsy's uh, hut she lives in a circular hut she's a wise woman she's 200 years old she is essentially like um, our representation of the wise woman in paganism so she's also the gatekeeper and yeah um just cool okay i think my voice is going to give out if i don't um stop talking because chest infection um i hope this hasn't been too rambling i hope you've enjoyed it and if you like this give it a like so i know to do more of this kind of thing um and yeah subscribe and all that stuff okay bye